Hello, good morning, students. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, good morning everybody. How are you today? I'm fine. Hope you're fine. Yeah. Okay, so then, so just wait for a moment, wait for your friends so they can join and we can start. So you're having your books already with you of mathematics. Yeah. All right. So today we are going to learn page number 140, 140. Page number one four zero. Are you ready, students? You can start. Yes. Okay. All right. So here, uh, page number one forty. Here we having problems. Six of pro six, six of the problems we have to solve. Okay. So yesterday we already learned about uh, solving the problems following the step. So step number one was clarifying problem. Okay. So clarifying problem, clarifying problem. We have to read and understand the problem. What information is given to us and what is the question the problem asking from us then number two we have to have a plan okay so we make a plan that what plan we are going to uh, follow and the method to solve the problem either division subtraction addition or multiplication and then number three, we have to execute the problem, step number three. So we have to perform calculation, okay? And then final one is check answer. Okay, so here we having our first pro problem today. That one is the given information are five siblings sell their four inherited pieces of land at 200,000 baht each. How much money will each siblings earn? So here the information given to us, that one is, there are five siblings, okay? And uh, there four inherited pieces of land at 200,000 baht each. So they sell, right? Five siblings, they sell their four inherited pieces of land at 200,000 baht each. Now, what we have to find? We have to find how much money will each siblings earn. So here we have the information. What is the price of each land? So that one is 200,000, okay? 200,000 is the price uh, with which they sell each land and how many pieces inherited they have they have four pieces okay and then they have to divide into five right so how many siblings are they they are five okay so here first of all what we are going to do we are going to uh, find the whole value of four inherited pieces, okay? One piece is cost 200,000, right? So here, first of all, 200,000, 200,000, we are going to multiply by four, right? So that is equal to 800,000, right? So the total amount 
uh, by selling the four pieces of inherited land is 800,000, okay? So now, how many of them they have to divide to find their share? There are five of them, okay? So five of them. Now, 800,000, we have to divide it by, divide it by five. So, which means 160,000 each sibling they will get, okay? So here by the given information, the given information was uh, this, the price of a uh, single piece of land was 200,000, right? And how many pieces they sell? Four, right? So 200,000 into four. So that means 800,000, right? So the total amount by selling the four pieces is 800,000 baht, right? Now that amount, they have to divide it by five siblings. So 800,000 will be divided by five, so which means 160,000 baht each. So our answer is each of the siblings will earn 160,000 baht each. Okay, students, you understand that? Students, did you understand that? How we are going to solve? First, yeah. we get the information. Information was given to us, price of each land, right? And how many pieces of land it was? Four, right? So 200 and to four, that means 800,000 baht, right? And then they have to divide it by five siblings. So 800,000 divided by five, that means 160,000 baht each person they get. Okay, now we having another problem, problem number two. We look to the information first. So the information given to us, that one is, The information given to us, that one is, there are 80 chairs in the assembly hall, okay? If there are 390 students that need to watch movie at the school history, right? Now, look at the question. The question is, how many times does the movie have to be played, okay? So in the school assembly hall, they're having 80 chairs, right? 80 chairs and total, uh, how many students we have in, uh, who have to watch the school history mo uh, movie? There are 390 students, okay? So we have here given two information. Information number one, that one is, we're having 80 chairs, right? In the assembly hall, all right? Now, if there are 390 students, they need to watch a movie that about school history. So the question, what they are asking from us, that one is, the question is, how many times does the movie have to be played? So here, for example, 390 if we multi divided uh 390 if we divided by 80 right so it will be approximately 48.5 something right so here what we have to do we have to make times how many times of 80 will be equal to 390 students right so 80 multiplied by Two is equal to 160, right? 80 multiplied by 200, 80 multiplied by three is equal to 240. Then 80 multiplied by four is equal to 320, right? So 80 times five is equal to 400, right? So which is close to the number of students, 390. So that means the school have to play the movie. The movie has to be played five times. Okay, so five times, that means 800 chair, it can be utilized five times. So which is close to around 400. 
and the amount of the number of students who have to watch they are 390 so the answer is the movie has to be played five times all right now problem number three here we have so problem number three first of all we clarify the problem so here the information given to us that one is a fisherman a fisherman sold 250 kilograms of fish okay now this is one information right then it sold four times as many crabs as fish okay so here you can see the fish how much uh, how many kilogram fish they sell 250 and the great crabs how many they sell four times four times as many fish okay now this is the second information then the number of shrimps sold was half the number of crabs sold okay so the third information that one is given to us that one is how much the fishermen sell the crabs half of that were the shrimp okay now look at the question what is the question asking from us so the question is how many kilograms of shrimps were sold by the fishermen so here we having all three information first of all what we have to do so we have to we having information number one that one is 300 250 kilogram of fish they sell okay now we have to find the number of crabs how many kilogram of crabs they sell so so they are four times of the fish so the fish is 250 kg right so 250 multiplied by four is equal to 1000 right so 1000 kg we have the information of the crabs okay so now we have two values one is fish the fishermen sell fish 250 kilogram now the fishermen sell 1000 kilogram of crabs now what we have to find here we have to find the number of shrimps sold was half of the number of crabs so we have the number of crabs that one is that one is how much that one is 1000 okay so 1000 divided by 2 is equal to 500 okay so 500 kg 500 kg is the the, uh, the amount of shrimp they sell okay so the answer is 500 kg shrimp were sold okay students you understand that it's very simple look at the first information given to us so the first information that one is 250 kilogram the fishermen sell fish okay so four times the crabs was more than the fish so 250 multiplied by four so that means 250 times four is equal to 1000 kilogram so 1000 kilogram what they sell they sell crabs okay now look at the third information the third information we have to find so that one is the number of shrimps sold was half the number of crabs so how much is the number of crabs they sold 1000 kilogram okay so we have to find half so 1000 divided by 2 is equal to 500 okay so our answer is what is our answer our answer is 500 kilograms of shrimps were sold by the fishermen similar like that problem number four we have here that one is a fruit vendor sell rainbow tins at 18 baht a kilo okay so this is one information given to us what they sell a fruit vendor a fruit vendor sells rainbow tins at 18 baht one kilo one kilo price was 18 baht okay now how many kilograms of 
uh, remittances must be must the fruit seller sell to equal the amount of money that the vendor would get from sale is 20 kg or 20 kg of grapes at 90 baht per kilo okay so here first of all what we have to do we have to find we have to find out we have the value here the value is 18 baht 18 baht is 18 baht is the price of per kg rembotens okay so what we have to find now first of all we have to find the calculation of grapes okay so grapes 1 kg is how much grapes 1 kg is 90 right so 90 multiply by how many kilograms the grapes they sell 20 okay so 90 multiply by 20 is equal to 1800 baht okay so now here we having already the information now now we having two information one is 18 baht is the price of per kilo rembotens okay and the second one is uh grapes what how much how many uh, how many kilogram they sell 20 kilograms what was the price of the grapes 90 baht okay so if the fruit, fruit vendor sell 20 kilogram of grapes so 90 multiply by 20 is equal to 1800 baht okay so total the fruit vendor sell gra grapes for 1800 baht now look at the question what is the question the question was how many kilograms of rembotens must the flu the fruit seller sells to equal the amount of money that vendor would get from a selling of 20 kilograms of grapes at 90 baht so uh, the amount of grapes what he get what the fruit vendor get that one is 1800 baht so how many grams how many kilograms the fruit vendor have to sell here 1 kilo is 1 18 baht okay 1 kilo is 18 baht so we have to calculate so if the fruit vendor sell 100 kg okay so if they sell 100 kg it will be equal to 1800 right so both the amount of uh say uh, by selling grapes and rembotens they will be equal so our answer is the fruit vendor must sell 100 kg of rembotens you understand students is it easy complicated students anything you not understand you can ask me don't hesitate is okay but in a finite all right later on students you can check in the video okay so first of all you just have to remember take the information first so the information and then make a plan calculation or multiplication and the final thing is execute the plan okay students so now i give you a time of 5 minutes okay you having 5 minutes you having two questions question number 5 and question number 6 you have to solve by yourself and give me the answer okay students problem number 5 and problem number 6 find the answer okay you having 3 minutes okay students It's very it's simple. Coming. Students, it's very simple. You look at the information. Question number five. Each day, a chicken farm produces for five thousand four hundred eggs. So this is one information that need to be packed into trays of thirty eggs. So that's the second information. Okay. So each tray 
of eggs is sold at 75 baht. So that's information number three. Okay, now look at the question. The question is, how much does the chicken farm make per day from selling eggs? So you have three information given to us. Find the answer. So cool. So cool. Set la la. All right, students, anyone finish already? Any, anyone have the answer? Um, finish. All right, what's your answer? My answer is that the chicken farm um, 10,000 2625 <laughs> Anyone else already find answer, students? You can answer me. Student, answer teacher, please. Keep quiet. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to ask from you. Adin, you have your answer already? Question number five? The answer is thirteen thousand five hundred. Thirteen thousand five hundred. Okay. Let me ask from another student. Quan, do you have your answer already? Not yet. Okay. Jao Kun. Jao Kun, you have your answer already? Wow. 
Quiet. Okay, Tonchaya, what's your answer? Tonji. Okay, students, now let me show you the answer. The answer is, Adin answer is correct. Okay, make a clap for him. <laughs> All right, how? 13,500 baht per day from selling eggs. How he find the answer? It's very simple. Okay, students, now look at the information. I already tell you, first information we have per day, how many, how much, how many eggs the chicken farm produce? 5,000. 400 okay now they put all of the eggs in a packet okay so each tray they have how many eggs 30 okay so first of all so this is information number one second information we have each tray have 30 eggs now look at the third information each tray uh, the price is how much? They sold at 75 baht. Okay. Now look at the calculation. First of all, what we have to do? We have to, uh, first of all, 5,400 total eggs they produce in one day. We have to divide. Okay. So we divide, divided by 30. Okay. So 30, each tray have 30 eggs so how many tray we will have so we will have 180 tray okay now this is already we have one information okay now we find uh, 5400 eggs the chicken farm produce per day right and then they put into the tray, packed into tray. So each tray have 30 eggs. So 5,400 divided by 30 is equal to 180 tray. So each day, the chicken farm having a 180 trays. Now look at the second and inf third information. What was the third information? The third information is the price of the each tray. Each tray of eggs is sold 75 baht, okay? So now what we have to do, 180 trays, the chicken farm have every day, multiply by 75 baht. One tray cost is 75 baht. So is equal to how much? That one is equal to 13,500. So that is the correct answer. Okay, students, now you understand? It's very simple. First of all, uh, divide, um, uh, divide, multiply all of the, all of the eggs divided by the, the tray. So 30, uh, 5,400 divided by 30 is equal to 180 trays. Okay, and what, one tray cost uh, is 75 baht. So that means 180 multiplied by 75 is equal to 13,500. Okay, now question number two. Anyone have the answer? Question number six, students? Problem number six. Anyone have the Me. answer? Me. Yeah, what is your answer? My answer is that at the Saturday live 60 packet. Course. Okay. Anyone else, students? Anyone else, students? Anyone else have answer? Okay, students, let me show you here. It's very simple. First of all, look at the question. The question is 20 people makes donation. 20 people makes donation 
3,600 baht each. Okay. So look at information. How much is donation made? 3,600 per person. How many people? 20 people. Okay. In a bid to help victims of flooding. All right. So the donation are just enough to buy 60 disaster relief packages. Okay. So this is the third information we have. Now look at the question. The question is how much does a disaster relief package cost? So here we have to do a simple calculation. The calculation here we have, first of all, how much was the donation per, per person? 3,600. Okay. How many people donate? 20 people. Okay. So 3,600 multiplied by 20 is equal to how much? Is equal to 72,000, right? Okay. So this one, we already got the information, right? Now, the other information we have, the donation are just enough to buy 60 disaster relief packages. Okay, so now total amount is collected by the donation was 72,000, right? And then we divided by 60 is equal to 1,200. So 1,200, that is the answer, okay? So total a disaster relief package cost 1,200 baht. Okay, students, just calculate first, how much was the donation? 3,600, okay? So 3,600 multiply by 20 people, multiply by 20, okay? And then when you get the, uh, total amount after that you divided by 60. So 60 disaster relief packages they gave. So then you're having the answer 1,200 baht. The disaster relief package cost 1,200 baht. Okay, students, now let's continue to another problem. Here we're having a problem. That one is a grocery store sold two dozen boxes of detergent at 150 baht each. The money was just enough to buy 40 packets of toilet paper. How much did a packet, a packet of toilet paper cost? So here we looked at the information given to us. First of all, a grocery store sold boxes of uh, detergent ate 150 baht, okay? So 150 baht is the cost of boxes, okay? Now, a grocery store sold two dozen. So two dozen, one dozen have 12 pieces, oh, okay? So two dozen have 24 pieces. So 24 boxes of detergent, right? They were sold. Now, the detergent were sold for 24 multiply by 150, okay? So the box cost was 150. How many dozens they sell? Two dozen, which is 24. So 24 multiplied by 150 is equal to 3,600 baht. So the money was just enough to buy 40 pack, uh, packets of toilet paper, right? Here is the information, right? 40 packets right, to buy 40 packets. So now we have the total money, 3,600, right? So 3,600 divided by 40 is equal to 90, right? So the answer is a packet of toilet paper cost 90 baht each. Okay, similar like that, problem number two, Students, you can write down later, okay? We're having a short time, so later on you can write down. Okay, so another uh, problem here we have. A hotel has 90 rooms. The average room rate is 2,250 baht per night. A group, of, uh, a tourist group booked 16 rooms for two nights. So what is the question? The question is, how much in the total did the group pay, okay? So a hotel has 90 room, okay? The average room cost is 2,000, uh, 2,250, okay, per night. And a tourist group, 16 
rooms for two nights okay so we have to find how much in total did the group pay so here first of all the average room cost is 2250 baht per night okay how much the students uh, the uh, student group booked 16 okay so a tourist group booked 16 rooms okay and for how many nights for two nights the price it was 2250 is the price for per night one night and the group they booked for two nights okay so a group of tourists booked the room for two nights so first of all what we have to do the cost of room multiply by two nights um, uh, after the first of all how many group uh, how many rooms the group they uh, book 16 what was the cost the cost is 2200 so in total the uh, 16 multiply by 2250 okay and then we have to multiply by two because they book for two nights so, which means 72,000. First of all, 16 multiplied by 2,250, then multiply by two, okay? So, the answer is, in total, the group of tourists paid 72,000 baht for two nights. Okay, students, just in, look at the information. It's very simple, okay? The cost of the room per night is 2,250, okay? And the group, they book how many rooms? They book 16 rooms, okay? For how many nights? For two nights. So these are the three information given to us, okay? So first of all, what we do here, uh, we have to uh, clarify the problem. So the average room cost is 2,250. And the tourist group, they book 16 rooms, okay? And then... The tourist group, they book room for two nights. So first of all, 2,250 multiply by 16, okay? And then multiply by two. So, which means 72,000, okay? So our answer is in total, the group of tourists paid 72,000 baht. Okay, students, so this is uh, all for today okay and uh, you having some of the page number here uh, page number 142 we having here uh, questions so we have to make we have some information given to us we have to make a question and then give the answer for example peter sold 72 shorts at 99 baht each so what question we can make so we can make a question how much in total would P uh, peter make if he sold all of his shorts so 